Good morning, family. So, it's a little morning update for you. It's Sunday morning, and I'm in southern <clears throat> North Carolina, just outside of Hendersonville. So, here's the deal. I'm at a relief center, but right now, the place I'm at, we're keeping very top secret. Uh, we don't want people to know the exact location, so I'm not really going to share a whole lot of details about where this is at right now. But it is a relief center, and it's to help the people here in North Carolina. So, I'm going to be here for the long haul for as long as they need me at this particular location. We drove down from Tennessee two days ago, and it's just been busy, busy, busy. I've barely been had, had time to do anything other than my schoolwork. So, uh... I'm hoping to get out in the next day or two and assess some of the damage in the area and talk to some people. Guys, the people in North Carolina still need your help. Don't listen to the uh, media. Don't listen to NBC, MSNBC, none of the major networks. They're not reporting what's really happening here on the ground. And hopefully, either today and through this week, I'll be able to get out and get some interviews with some folks and actually get some legit information. Now, I do look a little worse for air. I still need to go take a shower. I got my little huck brows going on this morning. So, I'm going to go take care of my business and see if I can get out to talk to some people. So, family, if you like the content, as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. And remember, if you want to help the people of North Carolina and you don't know how, you can either donate through me or there's a lot of charities out there that are taking in. I will make sure that your donation through Venmo goes to the people here and to make sure they have generators and things that they need to get into, you know, to get their lives back on track, basically. So, one of the things I want to say is what we really, really need right now is baby formula. We know people out there that are in need of that. We need insulin. If anybody's out there is a doctor or can get insulin for the people in North Carolina it's really really needed there's a lot of small communities out there with no access to the hospitals or things have been so destroyed they have no medicine a lot of diabetics out there that need help um, we need body bags still we there's a lot of things we still need including blankets and sweaters and cold weather stuff now I want to say this and I'm gonna say this straight out and the last camp we were at, we were sorting through donated clothes. And people, let me say, so many of you people out there are absolutely disgusting and rude. I'm just going to put it out there, okay? We found underwear, soiled. We found lingerie with adult toys, okay? Bedroom, adult, inappropriate toys. We found bloody tampons attached to underwear. That had been worn. What are you people thinking? Are you serious? These people here in North Carolina need your help. They don't need your rude arrogance. Okay? So, if you're going to send us to... And yeah, I'm getting really angry and rude. Because we went through so many boxes of stuff like this. Like here at this center, we opened up a box here of clothes. And was inundated with cat urine. And a smell of cat pee. So... Here's the deal. We don't mind used clothing. Make sure it's not torn. Make sure it's clean. It doesn't smell like animal feces and animal whatever, okay? Don't have any blood on it. We prefer not to have any rips or you know, tears in the clothing, too. Try to make it as decent and as good as possible for these people, all right? Um... Other than that, that's my morning update for you guys. Loving you, family. Thank you for everything that you have done so far, if you've been helping. And I will see you soon.